The ocean is our planet's greatest treasure. It provides the oxygen we breathe and the food that we eat. It drives the global processes that make life on Earth possible. At Bigelow Laboratory, we study the foundation of global ocean health. And we use that knowledge to unlock the potential to improve the future for all life on our planet. Most of the life in the ocean is tiny, it's microscopic in size. But these unseen organisms have enormous influence on the planet and hold endless potential for a better tomorrow. It's important to understand the ocean because it's the largest part of our Earth. Planet Earth is a misnomer. It should be planet ocean. So if we really want to understand how Earth functions, we have to understand our ocean. Humans have always had a close connection with the ocean and our oceans are changing, the planet is changing, and we need to be able to understand what will happen to those people and their livelihoods and what we need to do to adapt and support them in the future. The way that we do our research here at Bigelow is thinking about the ocean as a whole. We like to think about these traditional boundaries between science, like biology or chemistry or physics, but in the ocean, they're all mixed together. You don't get to look at one without having to think about the other. We're not a huge organization. There's not a lot of bureaucracy we gotta go through to make those decisions. We can be bringing in new technologies quickly. We can be responding to what's going on outside. I think to really push science forward, we need to have people working on the foundational research, working closely with people that are working on the solutions. Both of those go together. You're not gonna get one without the other. The environment and the oceans are changing more and more rapidly now than they have been really in the history of humanity. If we want our science to help people who are living through these changes, we need to be listening to what they're asking for and what they need. And because we can go all the way from that original discovery to finding a solution, we have this unique position to solve problems. I think the ocean holds the key to a lot of our goals for climate solutions and for pharmaceutical solutions and for health solutions. It is the most diverse reservoir on the planet. And most of that diversity lies within the microbes that Bigelow is ideal for studying. So the way I see the ocean is actually through the lens of a group of collaborators. Really, I think to understand the ocean, you need communities of people all bringing different points of view together. We need creative solutions to the problems we have. I think we all are on the same playing field of knowing that without our research, we're never going to find those solutions. And I think everyone's desperate for hope and Bigelow is a place for hope. It's important for us to take the discoveries that we learn in the lab and to share them with folks who can use them and be inspired by them. We try to take the findings of our research and to communicate it beyond just our own community but to students, to the general public, to policymakers, and even to the private sector. The education system here works on a mentoring process. What they get is a relationship. I think it's that long-term relationship that really makes us different and unique. At Bigelow, we motivate their work with questions about how the world works. We start with, here's an issue that we're facing, here's something we don't understand about the world, let's try to figure out how to answer that question. Training people to think critically is important. Not all students that come through our educational programs go on to be scientists. Some of them could be policy makers, some of them could be educators, and some of them indeed go on into the sciences. And we also try to inspire the general public. We bring groups in for cafe size seminars in the summer, and we've engaged with artists. And we do that because we want to inform people. We want them to understand how their actions are impacting the ocean and maybe things that they could do differently that would lessen that impact on the ocean. The ocean is our planet's largest and most important ecosystem. And it is an amazing ally in working toward the brighter future that our science shows is possible. It is a source of endless wonder and optimism, and I know we've just begun to unlock its potential.